Hey guys, welcome to Data Analysis Problems Level Hard. Ready? Let's do it. All right, so let's take a look at the hard problem here. Again, let's take note of all the data. So at the top it says, inventory of clocks and frequency of chimes. All right, so this is a really bizarre sort of topic, but this is about clocks and the number of times that they chime, all right? So now look, we have here the first column, number of clocks. So we have these categories of A, B, and C. So it looks like A has 20 clocks, B has 10, and C has six. Now it sort of gives some specifics on the clocks. So this one says it chimes N times on the nth hour. Okay, that's a little bit confusing. So what does that mean, chimes N times on the nth hour? So what I think that means is, let's say it's eight o'clock, so that's the eighth hour, and it's gonna chime eight times, right? So at 10 o'clock, it's gonna chime 10 times, so on and so forth chimes once on the hour. All right, it's a little bit easier. So each hour, kind of like those big clocks you see in, in different cities, they're just gonna chime one time. And then now these clocks, now this last category, it's gonna chime once on the half hour, all right? So every half hour at 7.30, 8.30, 9.30, it's gonna chime once. All right, now let's read the question. So we said, a merchant sells three types of clocks that chime as indicated above. What is the total number of chimes of the inventory of clocks in the 150 minute period from 9.15 to 11.45? Okay, so this is pretty interesting. So now we gotta think about this time frame, and we gotta apply it to all these clocks up here. So we're just gonna do it one by one. So let's first think about A, okay? With A, we have 20 clocks, right? And those 20 clocks, first of all, they chime n times on the nth hour. So first, let's just think about that. So from 9.15 to 11.45, it's not gonna chime at nine because that's, that's before the period that's indicated. So the first hour that's gonna hit in this period is 10. So it's gonna chime 10 times, right? At 10 o'clock, these, these 20 clocks. So 10 times, and then we're gonna multiply that by 20 because that's the number of clocks. And then what about 11 o'clock? At 11 o'clock now, it's gonna chime 11 times, right? So now we've got this plus those 11 chimes, again, times 20, the number of clocks. So there we go, so we've got 10 and 11. Uh, and now what about this rule here where it chimes once on the half hour? So how many half hours are we gonna have between 9.15 and 11.45? We're gonna have 9.30, 10.30, and 11.30. So now we have 20 clocks, so we'll have at 9.30, there's that step representing that, plus 10.30 plus 11.30, okay? So this is all the chimes for A. Okay, so we've got that sorted, we just need a little addition to add it up. Now let's think about B, okay? So for B, we've got 10 clocks, all right? So now again, we're gonna start at uh, 10 o'clock, right? And 11 o'clock for the end times on the nth hour, so at 10 o'clock, these clocks are gonna chime, right, 10 times, and that's times 10 clocks, plus 11 times at 11, again, times 10, and that's it, what it would be. Now let's think about C. So C, we have only six clocks, and we have chimes once on the hour. So again, remember we have 10 and 11, but this, these are only gonna charge, uh, chime one time, so we're gonna have a total of six chimes at 10, six chimes at 11, and then what's this last one? They also chime once in the half hour. So how many half hours do we have? We figure that out up here in A, right? We're 20, 20, 20. So here we're gonna have plus six, plus six, plus six. Cause that's gonna be for 9.30, 10.30 and 11.30. And now all we have to do is add these up. So I'm just gonna do a little mental math here. So we've got 200 plus, here we have 220, so that's 420 plus 60 is 480, all right, for A. Then for B, we just have 100 plus 110, which is 210, right? And for C, we have five times six, which is 30. And so now, if we're gonna add all these up, I'll bring it back here. So we got 480, so 690, and the total chimes is seven. And again, there's no answer choices because this is a free response, one of those lovely free responses. And so you just put down 720, final answer.